Today we are discussing medical testing. So probably by this point in your life, uh, you have had to go to the doctor, uh, you have been uh, tested, or the doctor has investigated for uh, some kind of sickness or disease or disorder. Perhaps it was the flu, perhaps you had to take a routine uh, TB test, uh, and uh, there, the test either came back positive or negative. The doctor either concluded that you uh, had the disease or disorder, or you did not. And then there was reality. Uh, there was uh, whether you actually had TB or whether you didn't have TB. Uh, so I want to express this right now in the form of a two-way table. So here in my two-way table, uh, at the top I have uh, whether the condition is positive or whether the condition is negative. So if you think about this in terms of uh, pregnancy, uh, let's say you, you either you're pregnant, condition positive, or you're not pregnant. If you think about it as having the flu, you're either you got the flu, you're condition positive, or you don't have the flu, you're condition negative. We have to compare reality, whether you're sick or not sick, with what the test concludes or what the doctor concludes. Uh, so the test comes back either positive or negative. Uh, so if you think of this as a pregnancy test, you can take a pregnancy test, it can come back negative, but there's still a chance that you're actually pregnant. Your condition is actually positive, like perhaps the window isn't right. Uh, if you think about TB, I have a friend, every time she goes and gets a TB test done, it comes back positive. She doesn't actually have TB, her condition is actually negative. So we have terms for uh, all four of these outcomes, and let's go over those right now. So. Uh, you can have a test that comes back positive and your condition is actually positive. So the test tells the truth. We call this, let's see if I can get the font to show up here, a true positive. The test says you have a condition and you actually have the condition. So uh, let's say if it was a TB test, the test says you have TB and you actually have TB. Uh, the test can also tell the truth in that you do not have a disease or disorder. That would be a true negative. I go in for a routine TB test. The test says I do not have TB and I do not have TB. The test can also not tell the truth. So here, the test comes back positive, but you don't actually have the disorder. So this would be a false positive. Uh, so an example here um, is my friend who uh, goes and gets her TB test, comes back positive, but she doesn't actually have TB. That is a false positive and then you can probably conclude that if the test comes back negative but you actually have the disorder, that would be a false negative. Uh, and an example of that occurring, uh, you take a pregnancy test, uh, the pregnancy test is negative but you're actually pregnant uh, because perhaps the you know, the window is off or the test isn't very accurate. So we're going to uh, process this data in a second, but let's just think about the ramifications of these outcomes for a minute. So hopefully a test has, uh, typically, um, a test has a lot of uh, true negatives, and people are usually very happy with a true negative. When a disease, uh, when a test comes back negative for a disease and you actually 
don't have that disease. Uh, a test could also come back as a true positive. We don't like to learn that we're sick. Um, you know, I, I don't like to learn that I have the flu. Uh, but at least I'm getting uh, an, an accurate test and I can plan accordingly. You also have a chance at a false positive. And we'll talk about later why uh, some tests have a lot of false positives. Um, false positives are frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating when my friend goes and gets a TB test and it comes back positive. Um, but at least if it's, a, if it's a, a disease, at least you don't have that disease and um, you don't have to make decisions based off that. And then there's also a case of a uh, false negative. The test, think, the test says that you do not have a disorder, but in actuality, you do need to be uh, making decisions uh, as if you do.